at Sheffield University put us in for a competition, which we didn't actually know about until we won, which was nice. Um, so go meet Tony Platt, who's like legendary producer, yeah. who's ACDC stuff and Bob Marley's, and we spent a day with him, and he really enjoyed our track and made it sound lovely. <laughs> Were you guys nervous when you went in for that? He, um, he told us how it was as well. Yeah, he, he wasn't afraid to say, like, this bit needs to go... This bit is rubbish. <laughs> um, he didn't say that to all of the songs, just because. But um, yeah, he was—he very—he very much spoke his mind about it. But it was nice to have a critical ear on it. So, I had a real good think about all of our tracks now, and in the same way that he told us to change them, we thought about how they can be changed to make them like really special for the CD. For our first CD, it was more kind of, look, we've written these songs and we're going to put them on a CD. Um, but this time we're like, right, how can we refine this product? How can we take our music to the next stage? And um, it kind of made us appreciate um, each other's input a lot more, like watching somebody work with us individually. He kind of thought, like, wow, Chris is doing a really good job of that guitar part. And it, like, bits that you never noticed, like your bandmates were doing before, suddenly became your favourite part. That was really good. We, we were very lucky to have got it, and we were starstruck the entire time we were there. But, um, yeah, it's a great thing to have behind us. And Tony's a really nice guy, really down to earth. Hearing him talk about new music was... It was really nice. He was very um, he was inspirational. I know it sounds really cliche, but he was so interested in new music and how it's going and working with, like, the other, with the other bands that won as well from different areas of the country. And hearing him talk about how much fun he had working with these young people all week was... It was really lovely. When when the university put you guys in for that competition, how long had you been together as a band? Um together for just well, around two years I think in various um, different guises. I mean when we started we weren't a full band, it was just um, me and Mike um, the lead guitarist yeah. and another guitarist who isn't with us anymore so we've evolved quite a lot since, since then. It's been a, a long process and we're, we're, getting, well, we're getting to the end of it now and um, We've got a really good producer called Mark Minor involved from Minor Talk Productions in Huddersfield. So, yeah, we're just looking forward to getting in there, getting the recordings done. You know, we've, we've um, finalised all the tracks and everything. We just, we just want to get it done now so we can give our fans what they've been pre-ordering and waiting for for a couple of months now. What's the favourite track at the moment for you? Uh, for me, at the minute, I think it has to be Ordinary. It was Who You Are for a long time, but then we wrote Ordinary, which has become the title track of the EP. And, um, yeah, it's just, I think it's really, really catchy. And it's like, like I was saying about Who You Are, kind of a bit down and, you know, wondering how I was going to get out of this, this hole I was in. Ordinary is a very triumphant, like, end to the EP. It's like, yes, we're out of this now. This is what we're going to do. I'm feeling so much better. Um, so I really it's like it, it turned the EP around and become a positive. So can you give three words to describe the band? Um, well, I suppose eclectic mm-hmm. would be a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, fun mm-hmm. would be another one. <laughs> and um, thoughtful. Mm. Yeah. Cause, yeah, those would be the three I'd choose because... We like to make our music fun and accessible, but there's always kind of... I mean, I always write about real things, you know? It's not just superficial, like, stuff. It's always real stuff that's come from a real place. 